I spend my time putting art on the floor. I'm trying to change the world. What are you trying to change about the world? At the moment, our actions feeding the economy seem to be taking us towards poisoning the air, poisoning the land, poisoning the sea. It's profitable to manufacture guns and bombs. So we are, as a race, quite literally realizing hell on earth through our actions. And I'm trying to say that actually a different skill set and a different tool set and a different direction of travel might be worthwhile if we want something like um, a future. What sort of alternative uh, society and culture do, oh, do you, do one you imagine? That, one that doesn't make guns and bombs, one that's not at war with itself constantly, one that doesn't poison the air, doesn't poison the land, doesn't poison the sea, one that has enough respect for each other and the planet we live on and all the other life forms that share this planet that we live on, one that has enough respect for all of that to live in a way that's completely sustainable, that is beneficial to all of life, so that mankind becomes a, a symbiotic life form that's supporting the life of its host planet instead of being a parasitic one. Shalom. This is the brother Nahalia from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. The bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and the sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. This is Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. And it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. All right. And through the spirit, I want to go into a lesson based on the clip you just saw in the video before this lesson began. All right. And um, what appears to be an Edomite uh, mentioned all of the things that are wrong with the world today. All right. And these things, uh, these issues that are uh, plaguing the world today. All right. Are in effect because of who is in rulership and dominion. All right. And that is a um, unpopular fact among the world. Um, who's in rulership as a nation of people. All right. Because when you look at who's in rulership or when you look at the way the world is ran. All right. It has to be uh, attributed to who's in rulership, who has dominion on the earth. All right. This is Job chapter nine. And I'm going to start down at twenty four. And the reason the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. And that is the reason that you have uh, polluted water, um, GMO foods. All right. Just to name a few things. Um, wars. Um, all of these things plague the world due to who's in rulership. All right. And because of who's in rulership, all right, the, the world and the way the world thinks and looks at things, all right, it's a direct correlation to who's in, in dominion. All right, there's Ecclesiastes 10 and 1, and it reads, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. All right. And what you notice in these times, uh, most importantly, is a mindset of greed, um, a mindset of vanity. All right. And this is in direct correlation to who has dominion on the earth. All right. And that is why uh, the Lord has a an agenda. All right. To place Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Jesus and establish his kingdom in the earth. All right. So, the, so that the world can be introduced to rulership and equity and righteousness something that hasn't been seen on the planet 
All right, and because of that, through the spirit and power of the Abashim Shai, the world is in a condition that it's in as the Lord translates power from one nation of people to the other, beginning with Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Ecclesiastes 10. And I'll jump down to uh, verse 4. And it reads, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Abashim Shai, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. All right, and through the spirit and power of the Abashim Shai, the world is in... Um, disarray, all right, because one that is not profitable, all right, has dominion in the earth, all right, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, we understand that the Lord is translating power from one nation of people to the other, and I'll get that um, in verse 8, all right, and it reads, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, and all of the things that this guy, uh, this gentleman mentioned, all right, is a product of who has dominion. All right. And I thought that it was uh, very ironic that um, the same people who are in rulership are now trying to fix a problem that they have caused over centuries. All right. And um, that's why the Lord is done with the time of the hypocrite. All right, we're in the time where the Lord is beginning to bring down a kingdom. Uh, because of these unrighteous dealings, these riches gotten by deceit, all right, uh, the, the wickedness and everything that has multiplied on the earth since the dominion began, beginning with Alexander the, the Great or Alexander the Greek, as he is named, um, this policy, this mindset, this spirit has been on the earth in abundance, all right, and the things that this guy mentioned have a source, all right, they have a cause, all right, these things, these issues that, that plague the planet right now didn't just happen out of nowhere. And it's not just all of humanity to blame, contrary to popular belief. All right. And why do I say that through the spirit? Because there are policies that are in place. All right. And there's a lack of justice and judgment um, that gives room and um, liberty for things like this to happen and to go unchecked for centuries. To the point where you have a destroyed um, people, all right? You have uh, GMO foods, you have contaminated water, um, chemtrails, all of these different things, um, uh, uh, 5G and, and these different uh, electronic, electric grids and networks that destroy nature, all right? The, destru the deforestation, all of these things have a cause. These things don't randomly happen. All right. These things are able to happen because there is a policy and there's a rulership that gives license to these type of activities. And while this guy mentions trying to save the world and, you know, saving the future, uh, what has to be known and understood is that these things can only be rectified. These things can only be rectified. All right. Through a transition of power. All right. The same people who have been instrumental in causing this problem are not the ones who are going to be able to fix it through the spirit all right and that is why a uh, hamashiach is so important uh to uh not only prophecy not only to the nation of israel all right but to the world in itself all right because uh, the one that the lord is going to set up that is profitable is the one that they ignorantly call uh jesus all right now let me get this in psalm 72 all right it's psalm 72 and 1 and it reads Give the king thy judgments, O Yahweh, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge the people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment. The mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy, and shall break in pieces the oppressor. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. He shall come down like rain upon the mown grass, as showers that water the earth. In his day shall the righteous flourish, and abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. He shall, he shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river unto the end of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemy shall lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. For he shall deliver the needy when he crieth, the poor also, and him that hath no helper. He shall spare the poor and needy, and shall save the souls of the needy. 
He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence. Precious shall their blood be in his sight. And he shall live and to him shall be given the gold of Sheba. Prayer also shall be made for him continually and daily shall he be praised. All right. And this is the one that they call um, Jesus. All right. This is Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right. He shall have dominion from sea to sea and uh, peace shall be in abundance as long as the moon endureth under his rulership. You know, and this is the complete this describes a rulership and a dominion completely opposite of the one we exist in today. All right. And that is a revelation to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's um, power. All right. That he could set up over the world the basis of men, which is Esau Edom. And then put him down and place up one that is profitable, which is Hamashiach and uh, the nation of Israel as joint heirs. All right. And that's uh, when you understand this, you understand how big the picture is uh, through the spirit um, that this isn't just about the nation of Israel having dominion. Um, but it is about the world being placed in good hands, so to speak, through the spirit. And that begins with Hamashiach. All right, who uh, who will have the dominion and all kings will bow before him and serve him. All right, and he will judge the world with equity. And through that rulership, through that dominion, the world will know uh, peace. All right, like it says in Proverbs, the 29th chapter, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right, and the world is uh, literally fighting against their own well-being by fighting against this truth. All right, they're fighting against um, a world where their water isn't contaminated, uh, where their food isn't contaminated, all right, where their children aren't born into a world where uh, corruption and uh, deceit and vanity are the things that are honored and the things that are, uh, are valued, true value, truly valued, like integrity, um, uprightness, are shunned and looked down upon and devalued, all right? Things are going to be turned right side up. And everything that this man complained about, and maybe he was an Edomite, maybe not, but everything that he complained about, and many other people complain about these things as well, um, these things are products, all right? They're fruits of a dominion on the earth, and there's no other way to say that. There's no other way to sugarcoat that, all right? Contrary to what this world gives you, all right, it's because of the uh, oil, um, it's because of the gas, uh, the the cars that emit the gas that cause the global warming is because of these, you know, the oil rigs. All of these things come through policies and these policies are made by the people who have the power to do so. All right. That's why in uh, Job 9th chapter, the 24th verse, it says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. And you can tell that they are the wicked um, by the fruits. All right. By the world that we exist in under their dominion. All right. And through the spirit, that's why this is good news, even for the heathen nations outside of Esau, Edom, which is the so-called white man. This is good news. You will be ruled over with a rod of iron, but this rulership that is to come will be far greater than the one that you exist in today. And the things that you complain about will be a thing of the past in the kingdom of heaven. All right. You know, uh, Christianity has given everyone this idea that the kingdom of heaven is going to be in some spiritual realm and, you know, the earth is just going to be, you know, um, done away with, so to speak. And that's not the case. All right. The kingdom of heaven is, is speaking of a rulership, a dominion on earth where righteousness and peace and abundance and things that are upright are valued and honored and things that are vain and empty are devalued as they should be. All right. This is Isaiah 45 and 18. And it reads, For thus saith Yahweh Shai that created the heavens, Yahweh Shai himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am Yahweh Shai, and there is none else. And for that reason, Hamashiach is going to come and have dominion in this earth. All right, that the world may be inhabited. That the Lord's creation may not be used for vanity, used in vain but inhabited and enjoyed properly under righteous rulership and judgment. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying. With that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yashar Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, 
who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.